वेलकम डियर लर्नर आज हम लोग बात करेंगे विल्सन इक्वेशन के बारे में जब हम लोग नॉन आइडियल सॉल्यूशन के बारे में बात करते हैं तो जब नॉन आइडियल सॉल्यूशन के बारे में बात करते हैं तो यहाँ पर मोर देन वन कंपोनेंट होता है और कंपोनेंट्स में भी अपने एक लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक्स होते हैं इनफैक्ट उनके मॉलिकुलर साइज भी डिफरेंट होते हैं तो जब उनके मॉलिकुलर साइज डिफरेंट हो और यदि वो एक दूसरे को लाइक्स ना करें उस केस में हमें विल्सन uh, इक्वेशन की जरूरत पड़ती है सो दिस इक्वेशन इज बेसिकली यूजफुल फॉर द कंपोनेंट्स वेयर इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन लाइक्स एंड अनलाइक और डिसलाइक मॉलिक्यूल्स सो विल्सन हैज यूज दिस जी बाय आर टी गिव्स एनर्जी इक्वेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस वेयर ऑपरेटर वन टू एन ऑपरेटर टू एन आर जी टू पैरामीटर्स विच कैन डिटरमाइन विद दिस फार्मूला वन एंड फार्मूला टू Where operator one two is equal to v two upon v one, where v two and v one are the volume of the components, partial molar volume of the components, and of lambda one two minus lambda one one, these are the parameters, or we call it the Wilson constant, and these constants are given in various books, like in YBC Rao. If I talk about, so in appendix eighteen it is given. Similarly, the information we will get from the pages also. so with the known values of this lambda 1 to minus lambda 1 1 uh, we can calculate the operator 1 2 similarly for operator 2 1 this is the v1 upon v2 where v1 and v2 are the partial molar volumes and lambda 1 to minus lambda 2 2 upon rt so at the given temperature and with the known value of these two and volumes we can calculate the value of operator 1 and operator 2 and where lambda 1 to are the interaction parameters so like at the beginning i told the molecules are liking each other sometimes this like so there are the interactions between this particles so this operator uh, lambda 1 2 are the interaction parameters so with the known value of this all we can calculate the gamma 1 using this wilson equation so wilson has proposed the uh, equation for the activity coefficient 1 is when binary solution is there so ln gamma 1 Where minus is there? Minus ln gamma into x1 plus operator 1 to x2 plus x2 into in bracket operator 1 to upon x1 plus operator 1 to into x2 minus operator 2 1 upon operator 2 1 x1 plus x2. Similarly, for activity coefficient two, it is written minus ln in bracket x2 plus operator 2 1 x1 minus x1 in bracket. Operator one two upon x one plus operator one two x two minus operator two one upon operator two one x one plus x two. So with the use of these four equation, equation one, equation two, equation three, equation four, we can calculate the activity coefficient of the components where the molecules are differ from each others, and even though these molecules are unlike each others. Let's take one example where. some information is given to us and we have to calculate the activity coefficient of the component 1 and component 2 <coughs> so making use of wilson parameter estimate the activity coefficient for methane all hexane solution at 55 degree centigrade when x1 is equal to 0.4 so in this problem we have the solution of methane all hexane where temperature is 55 degree centigrade when x1 is equal to 0.4 so the liquid molar volume of methanol and hexane are 40.73 uh, into 10 power minus 6 and 131.61 into 10 power minus 6 meter cube per mole respectively so here in the problem we can see the value of p temperature is given to us the mole fracture of the component 1 is given so we can calculate the mole fraction of component 2 as well and the partial molar volume of component 1 and component 2 so x1 is 0.4 x2 is 0.6 t is 55 degree means in kelvin it is 328 volume v1 is 40.73 into 10 power minus 6 meter cube per mole similarly for volume v2 131.61 10 power minus 6 meter cube per mole so here all the information is available to us now using the appendix a18 we can get this value of lambda 1 to minus lambda 1 1 and lambda 1 to minus lambda 2 2 so once we have this all information we can refer to the equation 1 and equation 2 
where we put the value of lambda 1 2 minus lambda 1 1 v1 and v2 and temperature t we will get the value of operator 1 2 so let's check here lambda 1 2 is equal to let's v2 v2 is 131.61 so this is 131.61 divided by v1 look at here v1 so v1 is what v1 is 40.73 so this is 40.73 exp minus operator 1 to uh, lambda 1 to minus lambda 1 1 so lambda 1 to minus lambda 1 1 we put here upon r 8.314 kilojoule per kilo per kelvin and t 328 so while putting this the value of operator 1 to is 0 0.0315 similarly we refer equation 2 to calculate the operator 2 1 so operator 2 1 v1 upon v2 so v1 is 40.73 40.73 in 10 power minus 6 upon v2 is 131.61 in 10 power minus 6 so 131.61 in 10 power minus 6 exp minus minus symbol is there operator 1 2 minus operator 2 2 the value of operator 1 2 minus operator 2 2 is 1912.12 so we kept over here once again the value of r and t and while solving this one you will get the value of operator 1 2 is 0 0.153 now once we have the value of operator 1 2 and operator 2 1 and the mole fraction value x1 and x2 we can use equation number 3 and equation number 4 to calculate the value of gamma 1 and gamma 2 so similarly i refer here x1 is 0.4 x2 is 0.6 so 0 0.4 0 0.6 you can see here x1 x2 and x2 into operator 1 2 so x2 into operator 1 2 operator 1 2 is 0 0.0315 so when i put the numerical values from this operator 1 2 operator 2 1 and x1 x2 over equation 3 and equation 4 we have the value of ln gamma 1 but i have to tell the value of activity coefficient not the ln gamma 1 so what i do I take the anti log of this term and when I take the anti log of this term the gamma 1 value become 2.1727. Similarly, this all values I put into the equation number 4 to determine the value of gamma 2 and while solving this expression I will get the value of gamma 2 is 1.6099. So these are the some numerical problems which are very useful to determine the like and unlike components. Now, what is the use of this all? In various video lectures, I talk about the various relations to calculate the uh, activity coefficient. You all are aware that there are several softwares where we have to use or we have to design the process flow sheet or we have to make the process flow sheet of the any existing plant or any new plant. So, on that case, when various components were involved, these relations will help us to determine their properties and based on their properties, we can determine at what temperature, pressure, how the reaction will taking place and uh, what are their properties, how, what will the volume or what pressure we keep to determine their volume or vice versa. So these are really very helpful, uh, useful equations, relations which we will need to work as a chemical engineer in the future. So thanks a lot for, uh, for watching this video and keep learning the thermodynamics. Thank you.